Hi. Sometimes there are cases where you need to create multiple objects. If you remember the way the array command in AutoCAD behaves, so if you have one object then you do an array either vertically or horizontally. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create multiple objects like uh, doing an array vertically. We will use this uh, draw circle command. We will use this code here and we are only going to do some tweaking on the code to do exactly how to create uh, an array type of method. So let me just copy this over and right at the bottom paste it let us rename this to draw circles vert for vertical okay so the changes that we will be doing is in this particular code block here since we are doing a vertical array or, or multiple copy of objects vertically we need to make the y coordinate as a variable so that is what we need and then as we uh, loop through the the for, for loop that we are going to create it will just be incremented every time so let me just comment this out here and we need to create a variable, the, the y coordinate. Let's just dim y as integer. Let's start from 100, the same as the coordinate here. We will keep the radius as 100 also. You can put this 0 as double. And then we also need to create a, a counter variable so let me just uh, dim i as integer this will serve as our counter and then we can create a for loop so in vb.net all you have to do is type in for i equals 1 to the range the maximum range that you want to create so in our case let's just uh, draw 10 circles and it closes with the next uh, statement here and then we will put this over inside the for loop okay so basically what we're doing here is we are looping from 1 to 10 and we will draw a circle every time we loop so this particular center point line of code here should be inside the for loop because this is where we are going to change the coordinate every time so now that we have created a y variable as our a replacement to the fixed 100 here so that is what we're going to use our x coordinate stays the same but the y loop will be incremented every time we loop we, we do a loop so which means that the first iteration we create the center point as point 3d from 100 to the initial value is also 100 so it will create our first circle and as usual we provided the circle radius which is still the same as 100 center point is the center point here and then we added into the block table record we appended and add into the transaction and next would be to increment the value of y so let's say we increment 
50. Every time we do a loop, we increment 50 and we we process again. So initially we have y as 100. Now the y becomes 150. So our next center point now would be from 100 and 150 and so on and so forth until we reach the 10 which means that until we draw 10 circles then it will exit the loop okay and then of course we have here the transaction commit so that is all good so that's about it let me just do some cleanup here and now we can try this in AutoCAD. Let me save our project. Let me just close this uh, AutoCAD first before we do a build. And now we can do a rebuild. Okay, let's open AutoCAD. All right, let us load our plugin now. Net load. Then select our plugin. Click on always load. Now we should have the draw circles vert method. Draw Let's let's start first with the draw circle, the first one that we created earlier. Yeah, this is our circle. All right. Now let's uh, run our draw circle, draw circles vert. So observe the, the behavior. There you go. See that? So this is how it works. Every time we do the loop, it, we, it increments the value of y by 50. That's why the center point here, from the first circle that we created to the next one, it increments by 50 until it reached uh, the tenth circle. So that's how easy it is to create multiple uh, objects. Just uh, enclose the, the code to create in a for loop and then make the the y or x coordinate variable and increment every time do you do a loop okay give this a try and see how it goes in the next video we're going to draw a circles uh, horizontal so instead of going up we'll go to the right by just uh, doing a minor tweak on this code and we have a different uh, function altogether. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.